All right, in this episode of The Craft of Archery, we're going to be swapping a custom quiver for a custom bow with the company we met on Facebook. I was contacted by an up-and-coming bowyer from a company called The Naked Bow. He wanted to trade one of his bows for a quiver and arm guard from Rasher Quivers. Now, I've never seen one of his bows up close and personal, but I've seen pictures of them, and they look, they look pretty decent. Well, him and I, we found out a little bit about each other on Facebook, and from there, our challenge is to create the perfect product for each other. All right, we're on day two of the quiver build for Richard McGrath of uh, the Naked Bow, and uh, I've got the leather. I know what kind of quiver I'm going to make, and I've been doing a lot of research on the Celtic art, and I think that's what we're going to stick with on this uh, quiver build. We're going to do a Celtic themed quiver. We're going to do this quiver build on country time. There's no hurry. We're going to take our sweet time and do it right. That way there's no mistakes in the long run. All right, we've been pondering ideas for this build, but none of that makes any difference if they don't fit. This range of quiver is going to feature custom sizing, custom tooling, and more. Some of these features are subtle, but others, not so much. We started by laying out the outline for the custom sizing, and after the frame is cut out, we lay the lines and spacing for the tooling. If they don't fit, we adjust. All right, it's January 20th, 2014. I've got about 17 hours in on the frame of the quiver, and the tooling is going went just fine. I haven't started tooling the straps yet. We did come up with some new straps for this quiver. We are going to go with a one and a half inch strap, which we've never done before here at Rash of Quivers, but it's, it's a highly requested strap, so I think we might add it to our regular repertoire. It's January 25th, 2014. I spent about three more hours tooling the straps. We got about six hours in on staining. I'm not ready to show you everything yet, but here's a little sneak peek of the straps, and I'm going to get back to work. Alright, rather than going with our standard uh, belt loops and strap braces for the decorative strap, we're going to go ahead and do Turk's head braids. Alright, we've packed the quiver and arm guard up, we're going to give it a couple days and then we're going to find out what Richard thinks about it. Hi, this is Rich with uh, Naked Bow. I just got an email confirmation that my uh, quiver has been shipped from Rasher Quivers and I can't wait to get it. I'm pretty excited to see what kind of work he did on it. And I will do another video when I get it. Thanks. Alright, because Richard lives in Minnesota, we are not going to be able to be with him when he opens up his box. However, he is going to record the process and uh, we'll see what he thinks then. So I got my quiver in the mail and I had an awesome experience with the Rasher and he did an outstanding job on it. His bow is now in the works, we got it right here and uh, yeah the guy is amazing work so thanks. Alright we got between 30 and 35 hours on this build and you can tell that a lot happens between the time it's ordered and the time it's shipped. We hope that Richard McGrath enjoys the quiver for many years to come, and we hope that you all enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time on The Craft of Archery when I get my bow from Richard McGrath of The Naked Bow.